Hi everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History channel. Tonight's video is going to be my round 3 tips for the 2022 NRL season. Last week I got 7 out of 8 correct. Let me know in the comment section below how many you got right. This round has 3 rivalry games to talk about and some other good matchups. So we'll start with the first game which is kicking off on the Thursday night. And that match sees St George hosting Colonel of Sutherland at Wynn Stadium there in Wollongong. This is the first of the three rivalry matches that I'll be talking about in this tipping video. Both of these sides uh, win one, lose one to start the year. Last week, Cronulla beat Parramatta on the bell there. And as for St George, they played as I expected against Penrith. They really took the game to Penrith and they only lost by four points so even though they lost um, plenty of positives have come out of that match for St George this game is, is a very fierce rivalry match both of these sides do not like each other there'll be plenty of pushing and shoving there'll be some bigots in this match I don't think there'll be any punches thrown though thanks to uh, Mr Todd Greenberg banning punching a few years ago but this will be a very fierce match between these two rivals. Looking at the head-to-head -head between these two clubs, in recent times, Cronulla's had the bragging rights over St George. They've won the last four encounters against them. Although, in some of those matches, it's been quite close. There hasn't been too much in it. Even though this match is being played at Wollongong, I think that uh, Cronulla would have got a lot of confidence from last week beating Parramatta. So I'm going to go for Cronulla to win, but I reckon that they'll probably only win by two to four points. I think it's going to be very close on the Thursday night. The first match on the Friday sees West Tigers up against New Zealand. This one's being played at Campbelltown Stadium. Both of these sides are yet to win a match in 2022. West Tigers were diabolical last week against Newcastle. And uh, after watching the vlog and watching the highlights of um, Warriors NRL Fanatics and Nick from Australia and a, a couple of other YouTubers and seeing the, the, the full highlights, New Zealand really had a chance to win that game against the Gold Coast, but they, they blew it. Um, just the execution in the second half was quite poor. Uh, New Zealand have won the last three games against West Tigers, so they've, they've got the wood over them in recent times. However, the last time that New Zealand won at Campbelltown was in 2007. So a very long time since New Zealand have won out there. But both of these sides are going to be desperate for their first win of the season. However, for this match, I will go for New Zealand to win between one to six points. I don't think that there'll be much in it. But I just think with New Zealand in their two matches where they've lost they've come very close to winning and they've shown me more i think to start the year than the west tigers so i'll go for new zealand to win by one to six points the second game on the friday sees south sydney against sydney roosters slash decent suburbs in my personal opinion it's the biggest rivalry in australian rugby league and the fiercest and it's the oldest and most continuous rivalry in australian rugby league as well this one's being played at stadium australia uh, South start the year 0-2 and, and Eastern Suburbs got that win last week against Manly. Very impressive. However, South Sydney have won the last three encounters in this derby match. Especially a couple of years ago when everyone tipped Eastern Suburbs to win the match. South Sydney come out and we all remember 2020 they beat them 60 points to 8. And it's, it's a night that I won't forget for a very long time. So when it comes to these rivalry games, form go goes out the window, everything goes out the window. It's just the two sides and who turns up on the night. Another thing that will add extra heat and extra spice to this already very fierce rivalry is the fact that we all remember what happened last year. The Trell Mitchells hit on Joseph Manu and this is going to be the first time that them two players are going to be up against each other and I'm pretty sure the Eastern Suburbs, Sydney Roosters players have not forgotten what happened on that night. However, for this game, even though South Sydney have had the wood over Eastern Suburbs over the last couple of years, I will go East to win on the Friday night 1-12. I think it's going to be a cracking match. I think there's going to be a lot of big hits. There's going to be a lot of feeling in the game, but I think East will just get the win. 
The first match on Super Saturday sees Penrith up against Newcastle. This one's being played at Carrington Park in Bathurst. Penrith generally take one match a year out to Carrington Park. They've been doing that for a while now. Um, they have quite a good record at Carrington Park. They've, they've played nine matches there in total and they've won six. So even though it's not officially their home ground, it's kind of a bit of a home away from home. Uh, Newcastle have started the year very, very well, surprised a lot of people. Two two wins to start the year. Penrith, two wins to start the year as well. Even without Nathan Cleary, they, they still look very good. However, Brian Toto is going to be out for six to eight weeks, so that's a bit of a blow. But they, they've got a lot of players in reserve to, to bring up. Penrith have the wood over Newcastle in recent times. Uh, Penrith won seven of the last ten encounters against Newcastle. So they're, they're definitely a, a side that they like to play against Penrith. Um, this could potentially be a bit of a banana skin though for Penrith as well, with Newcastle playing very, very well. And we'll have to see how they go. This will be an entirely different test for Newcastle coming up against the defending premiers, a, a side that their defence has been very, very good for a very long time. So it's going to be hard to get tries against Penrith. I will go for Penrith to win this match 1 12 on the Saturday. I, I just see I think I, I just think that Penrith are, are gonna be a little bit too good for Newcastle. However, I think this is gonna be a tight game and Newcastle will give it a red hot crack on the Saturday. The second match on Super Saturday sees Melbourne host Parramatta. This one's being played at Emi Park there in Melbourne. Melbourne's two and two to start the year. Parramatta's one and two. They had the loss last week against Kunule on the bell everyone knows last year Parramatta had those two wins over Melbourne in both of those games they weren't expected to win and they did especially the second one when Melbourne were going for that all time win streak uh, Melbourne is not a very happy place for Parramatta to go though they've only won six times there since 1998 their last win in Melbourne was 2017 and uh, some of the score lines that they've they've had in the last ten year or so down in Melbourne haven't been that great. Thirty two nil, forty six twenty, sixty four points to four, thirty eight nil. So definitely, when it comes to Parramatta going down to Melbourne, it's not a happy hunting ground for them down there. Of course, Parramatta get most of their wins against Melbourne when it's not in Melbourne and it's being played at uh, the the old Parramatta Stadium or Western Sydney Stadium as it's known now. It's going to be very hard to see Parramatta win in this game, especially with some of the defence that they've shown in the last two opening games. It hasn't been good, so I will go for Melbourne to win 13-plus on the Super Saturday. Even though I want to see Parra win, I just don't see it happening at this stage of the year against Melbourne. And the third and final game on Super Saturday sees Cambria host the Gold Coast. This one's being played at GIO Stadium, as, as I know it as, Bruce Stadium. So for Canberra last week, they were very disappointing against North Queensland and Townsville. With the Gold Coast, I think that even though they got the job done in the end, they were a little bit lucky. New Zealand did bomb a few chances in the second half there, but they they just did enough, I think, Gold Coast to, to win that game and to hold New Zealand out. Uh, in recent terms, the two, these two sides, it's it's been a bit of tit for tat when it comes to um, how they play against each other there's no there's no side that has the wood over each other in, in recent memory no doubt Ricky Stewart would have been very very disappointed and it, he would have put the Canberra players through probably a lot of training and a lot of hard work this week and, and he's going to have them ready for this match on Super Saturday of course as well Canberra's been dealt the, the blow with the news that Josh Hodgson's out for the entire year he's, he played his final match for Canberra in round one there I just think though that with, with Canberra, with, with the poor performance they put in last week, they're going to bounce back this week against the Gold Coast. So I'll go for Canberra to win 1-12 on the Saturday night there. And also, who knows, maybe we might see another vlog from Sam Revel there on the Super Saturday. He was there in round one against Cunulli, so if he, if he does another vlog, I'll, I'll be watching that for sure. The first match on Sunday is also another rivalry match and one of the biggest in the NRL. It's Brisbane up against North Queensland. This one's being played at Suncorp Stadium. 
Uh, Brisbane's two wins to start the year. Um, the fans must be on cloud nine. The last couple of years, they haven't really had much to cheer about. They haven't had many wins at all. So they, they must be buzzing that they've won two matches in a row to start the year. For North Queensland, um, they had a good win over Canberra last week. They were disappointed in round one, bounced back in round two. As 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 I mentioned earlier in the video, with rivalry games, farm goes out the window. So even though Brisbane started the year very well, um, North Queensland no doubt will be up for this match. Um, in in recent terms, the, the the matches between Brisbane and North Queensland have been notoriously very close. Some of them have been decided in golden points. Some of them have been decided by just the odd point. I will go for Brisbane to win though on, on the Sunday against North Queensland with it being at home with it being at Suncorp uh, they're looking to turn that stadium back into a fortress again I think they look good so far to start the year so I'll, I'll go for the home side I'll go for Brisbane to win one, between 1-12 to 12, but I don't think that there'll be too much in it and the final game to close out the round sees Manly Warringah up against Canterbury Bankstown this one's being played at Brookfield Oval there uh, Manly been very disappointed in the opening two rounds and you can see the same for Canterbury even though they, they won in round one they weren't great and once again in uh, as it's been the last couple of years the, the one of the talking points for Canterbury is that they just can't score many tries they can't score many points in, in round one they only got six points round two they only scored ten and I think if you're going to play against Manly again have to score more points than that if you any chance of beating them. Uh, the last time the Canterbury beat Manly was in 2017 and last year um, if you remember Manly beat Canterbury 36 points to 18 and 66 nil. That was an absolute maul in there at uh, Western Sydney Stadium. So bearing in mind all the encounters that they've had recently these two sides and how they've panned out and with Manly desperate for a win they, they don't want to be 0-3 and with it being at Brookvale Oval I'm going to go for Manly to win 13 plus um, they're going to be desperate they're going to be hungry and they're going to be at, in front of their home fans so I'm going to go for Manly to win 13 plus and uh, I expect Tom Trevojevic and, and the rest of them to put in a, a very good match so anyways everyone that's been tips for round 3 of the 2022 NRL season. I hope you enjoyed these tips. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know who you're tipping, first try scorer, who you're putting in your racker remotely this weekend. Let me know. And uh, I'll be doing another video very, very shortly. I'll be doing my Super League tipping video tomorrow night, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching. Tatty bye for now.